hey guys good morning good afternoon good evening depending on when you are watching this video how are you guys doing please before you continue watching like the video subscribe so this house you are seeing here is called the dunamis dome so i got a comment on my comment section days ago that i should tour this area close to dunamis that they, they are estates there so i decided to go around the whole estate in this place i have a land very close to this place and i don't even come here all the time in fact i can stay for like two years three years and not come here so because they said i should come tour here i drove down to tour the place so guys i hope you are doing well i hope everything is fine so most people ask me to tour areas where maybe they have land or they plan to buy land or somebody may have told them there's now an infrastructure and they want to really see if it's true so they tell me please can you tour this particular place i have for those of you who are saying i should tour a particular estate in in Aku, i have taught done Aku tour you could check the playlist to see where i taught Aku. you know i've done that tour before so but if you think i didn't capture the particular estate you are talking about you could still drop it on the comment section and of course you know me I'll still find time to talk. So I want to also apologize for, you know, putting up a video this late. It's been a whole lot this week. I've been so, so busy this week attending to other matters. So I'm really sorry. Like, you know, growing with an audience that really love your content, then at the, and all of a sudden you are beginning to give excuses. It's not something I like. I hate to give excuses. And for the fact that this channel is still not monetized, so I'm supposed to even be the one pushing it like okay well, let me put content but in all i know you guys want me to be safe and also healthy while creating content so i know you understand because i know you all on this channel to be very understanding people now i want to also use this opportunity to address something somebody came under my comment and dropped a very that it dropped a comment saying I should not talk about politics like I'm, i don't understand like a, a full grown adult like me you are telling me not to talk about politics another the person now said i should not talk about politics i know nothing about politics wow that's ridiculous you know so i would advise that if you come to this channel and you know that you came here to throw don't bother because if you throw i will block you it's simple I'm not here for bad energy if i see that you are bringing bad energy i'll block you how do you expect me a full-blown adult like me not to talk about politics okay now we are going to talk about politics in this particular video so if you don't like it it's better you stay off this channel now this particular uh, layout has been here for years for more than 15 years so normally if the government have interest in a particular place they will put infrastructure first before people will begin to build like they have in uh, Guzapé, they have in so many areas they have in um uh what they call by the train station you do train station that exists by the nizamia hospital they have they put all those infrastructure before building so you have this here roads in that places that are no good you get so it's in fact without infrastructure a house will just be bad look at this beautiful houses beautiful layout but no infrastructure so basically what i'm trying to say is that we are calling the attention of uh, governor wiki um our minister the fct minister to look into this place like you see that just recently i hear some estates calling for uh, people that the all the estates in one area that they should contribute money to grade their road in preparation for the rains and then they will want to write also to the minister of the fct so that he will put them into their budget but you know it is wrong for somebody to actually be the one to fend for themselves when it comes to infrastructure because that's the gov the government duty they are supposed to put infrastructure in place it's their duty no matter how much you guys some of you feel just not even some of you let me say a pinch of you like when two people are commenting about something is is inconsequential it's not relevant to me because majority majority of you know that we are government and we are politics without us there'll be no politician right would a politician uh, you know nominate himself into power or elect himself no it is the people so that's it so this side we are going to is actually the back side of river park because if you look at the area i'm touring now it's not too far from river park because between um, the dome is in between this 
estate where we are now and river park so this is the back side of river park and this is the more reason why i mentioned earlier in my other video that it's not possible to say that river park is bigger than guarin park because guarin park still as we are making this video we have not been able to complete touring guarin park guarin park is big according to some people they'll say guarin park is massive so guarin park is very big it's, it's very difficult to see the end of guarin park like you drive today i say today i want to go to guarin park i want to see the end of guarin park it's very very difficult so imagine this beautiful all these beautiful structures here without infrastructure so the government the fct minister need to look into this this another estate you are seeing something sky estate sky is this sky memorial it's sky it's just somehow sky estates they wrote it on one of their view signboard that was already on the floor so we had to just find a way to see something sky estate so for those of you who are interested in the sky estate this is a particular condition of the estate now so they have beautiful infrastructure here there are sorry beautiful houses here it's just that there are no infrastructure mm. and we still call on wiki to look into this because without the infrastructure this place will still be looking like one lungu places and there are places here that you still see that the road is not connected just because they've not been able to do these routes properly and i'm sure if they do these routes properly everything will be fine and will not have the you know troubles of trying to connect this area there's one particular estate that is in this place if you want to go to this estate you will have to be passing through so many you know road that's distractions or you have to use a bike to get to that estate so i don't even know how those who drive out of those uh, that estate how they come out of that place i don't know how they meander i don't even just know so the fct minister should look into this matter critically and do something about it because it would be unfair for people to put in so much money into these places and then they are not able to either recoup for those because you can see while we're passing we saw a house for sale we saw, or if once you see a house written on this property contact know that it's for sale they don't want to write for sale that's why they are saying on this property but if you see if to, to relate know that it's for rent so basically that's it so now what i'm saying in essence is you can see how somebody built this beautiful place and you see all these Fulani people they'll come build houses in, encroach into people's lands and you know when you come to tell them why it's time for me to build they'll start having issues with you they'll start making trouble with you so some people would rather fence their you know lands than allow fulani people to come build houses inside normally if they allow people if they can even build these houses and when it's time for them to relocate them they will agree it's a different thing but they are not even bent on relocating so they don't even want to ever relocate you can see this their house their huts here they are hot here uh, outside the estate but if you look at the estate inside that man's estate you see that they were so they had to you know demolish some of their huts that were previously built inside so basically what we say is that if you have a land there just come and do the the fencing fence it so that and put a gate i know fencing now is very expensive because of the cost of cement but i hear that the cost of cement have gone down even though i've not gone to price to find out but i hear it has gone down to ten thousand i'll be ten five so basically people are still saying that at 10 5 10 000 is still very expensive so let's look at it in the other way just call me a fence it and keep it safe to avoid a lot of encroachments or people encroaching or hearing that somebody sold out your land because some people are very funny you see a very beautiful you know table land and somebody had built a house maybe a gate house you come there and be claiming it's your house i don't even know how people don't have conscience so a lot of people here built uh, gate houses some built bq pending when the money will come for them to build the, the normal house there are people who also built houses where they will stay for the meantime while they build the normal the big one they want to build like now if you don't have money to build a mansion you build a bq maybe you make your bq two bedroom apartment so that it will be easy for you to build the other one but you know with infrastructure it will be easy for people to come in here and develop their areas so if you are one of the people that dropped on the comment section that I should tour this place i hope you are seeing how i went round. in fact if you saw the way we we're driving we we're going round. we enter this place street by street estate by estate there were some that they say on this land they will say stop building so like that house we just passed now is mountain of fire church so different uh, estates are here we're touring from estate to estate just so that you could see the place i don't i didn't want the case where you say ah you didn't cover where i asked you to cover so 
I drove this is a cement factory or uh, where they do blocks, a block industry. So I went round the estate, you know, corner by corner, ensuring that you get the um you get what you actually wanted. So I hope I've been able to capture this place, but I feel that I'm really, really calling on the minister to come check this place out. The minister should do something because it's not really fair for people to be their local government. They will do everything for themselves. They would um, buy a land. They will build the land. They will get generator because there's no constant light. They will, or maybe they will do inverter. They will now do solar in the same house. They will get security for themselves. When it's time to throw uh, this in dirt, they will call a the this thing all these people that help to remove dirt from people's houses they will pay they would be the one to you know they are just everything to themselves they are just they are they are the local government they are everything so it's better for anybody it's better for anybody who is buying the land there to come and secure their land you see those who are doing fencing you could do fencing if you cannot fence your whole land but just come and do something you can fence it it may be two coaching or three just so that you know that you held your land down you see this under estate vidash city shelter is an estate they are building here so you saw that you can see with this i went we went from one estate to the other just trying to ensure that we cover the whole of this area you can imagine from from dunami's side down to this other side you see at the end of this video where we'll be coming out from you see how we really really taught the area you can agree with me that it's a good layout it's a with beautiful houses but they don't have road infrastructure is the problem we entered here again so any place we entered street by street just to ensure that we covered the whole place street by street you know estate by estate so i'm sure people looking at us will be wondering what are these people looking for they will not understand that we were sent on an errand by one of our viewers yeah you guys i told you guys they are very important to me you see i wish one of you would tell me go and interview wiki or one of you would say go and interview the president ah that would be serious so i need to really 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 prepare that day so that i would, I would interview them and bring you guys the video and i'm also thinking of going out to find out how people are coping in the way things are now in abuja and other places how are they coping let me hear from them because me the truth is that i love my country so much nigeria and every time i pray that god should make nigeria move forward because nigeria is actually a very good country if you ask me because see there are things you do in nigeria you get away with them you can't get away with them in other places like in nigeria now you can get very fresh food to eat you can't get fresh food outside the country i'm not saying you should not travel though. if you have your money travel but the truth is that here yeah, you don't need to work paycheck to paycheck but you need to work hard because you could just be going on your way now and see one little house for rent and you help the person to rent it and they'll give you agency they'll share agency with you you've made money but it's not like that outside the country nigeria is a very beautiful place you can just go uh, sleep a poor man and wake up a rich man yes because if you maybe your uh, somebody calls you and says since you stay in abuja help me look for a land i will buy and then you help them look for the land they, they whosoever he owns the land the agent who is in charge of the land he would definitely share agency with you so imagine if the house the land they are buying is one billion and you know how much you know 10 percent of that will be okay buying a land this usually is five percent buying a house is five percent is when you are renting that is ten percent but even at that with five percent of one billion you know what that is for someone to give you half of that that's 2.5 you know how much that is so is and is in nigeria you can sleep poor and wake up rich but if you your luck has not shined like that you just keep on hustling and i pray that as many of you who are going through a lot this period may god come true for you because it's not really easy we uh, this country is not easy right now because you know the thing is when the right people are in authority we will rejoice but you know how it is there are a lot of things are happening in nigeria where people will promise you that if they enter into power they are going to do this they're going to do that at the end of the day they will end up not doing it they will even end up doing doing worse than 
the other person had done you know sometimes they used to say football is sweet outside when you see ah uh -uh, yeah rashidi akini would have done like this how come he's kicking this way that if you're the one you you score that goal it's sweet to say it but when you get into the pitch you see that it's not easy like that uh -huh. so that's why you see that most people when they enter into power they are not able to do as they have been criticizing so you can see that we kept touring different estates that's we just passed dynamics again from the other side look at it we just passed it so we are going through this other side since we have taught the other side of dynamics we are going through this side so that we'll show you how this other side looks like so i tried my best to ensure that we do we do not leave any road on 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 how i put it is that's we did not leave any road we ensured we entered every road we entered we entered i uh, now there's almost first scarcity in nigeria and i'm wondering why should it be first scarcity so we went to look for fuel first before going for this store well, it's scarce even when it's very expensive so the government should do something fast about it so that it will not be a problem where somebody uh, is buying uh, somebody is buying expensive product and he needs to go and stick you i on sunday while i was going to church very early hours of the morning i saw people queuing with the intention to buy i hope they did not break their hearts because the most annoying part is when you queue to buy fell you've queued for like let's say three hours or four hours and they tell you that they are not selling or their pump is not working you know how demoralizing that can be it has happened before to somebody very close to me the person has driven to one area they said they were selling for a god there and queued for like i think four to six four or five hours and then when he got to his turn the safer had finished the person almost fainted like he was he felt so angry and vowed never to queue in that kind of police station but you know you have to still buy fuel and you have to still buy fuel. Like yesterday, somebody was somebody posted today of her encounter when she went to buy fuel somewhere. It was black market, and you wonder people are having. There's no fuel yet. Black marketers are having fuel because those are the ones that these people sell fuel to now, so that they will make money. Because every jerry can they fill for you, pay them maybe one thousand. Then it used to be five hundred, and when you come as somebody who wants to buy to use for your generator, they will tell you they don't sell in gallon. But when at night they have the people they sell to. Like I used to say, in all we still love our country, Nigeria. So this part, this area you are seeing, this particular layout you are seeing that does not have infrastructure is on Airport Road. People ask, is Airport Road the same with Lube? Lube people say no. People, even people when they call on radio, they will say this place is Airport Road. It has no connection to Lube. But it's still on the Lube axis. If you are coming from town, it's after Lube. If you are coming from the airport, it's before Lube. So this area is airport road. So you one will wonder why do government wait so much? Why do they wait forever to put infrastructure in a place? It still boils down to the right information. Like I'm I'm very certain that this other estate that said they were going to write to the minister so that they can include their their road to the next budget i'm sure the minister is going to pay attention because wiki is really working so hard somebody said the other day dropped on the comment and said that are they are they are they renovating or resurfacing the road in inside the city center and i was like yes because most of the places places are done to are taught before are now you know resurfaced that like the roads are resurfaced they are, they are if you see the way they are looking so beautiful courtesy of wiki wiki is really working in abuja i will not even lie wiki is doing a very good job in abuja and you know me when you are doing good i will tell you you are doing good when you are doing bad i will tell you you are doing bad i know that some people that will not like that part of me it's not a problem but let the government do what they had promised they were going to do because it doesn't make sense to make people vote you into power and then you will go and sleep it doesn't make sense and then you the people will nasty tell us your fabs will not your followers will not say we should not talk about it no we will talk about it we will talk about it that is why we are the citizens we will talk about it it's high time they kept to their promise because you don't say one thing and mean the other the leadership is taking responsibility so guys imagine how beautiful this area is no infrastructure of all the places we've taught you've not seen any third road since we started driving you've not seen any third road yes that's how 
Be just look at this beautiful house. Hi! Mm, see the landscaping. But no road. No third road. But it's okay. We hope that when our minister sees this place, he will come to their rescue. Mm -hmm. He will definitely come to their rescue because these people need help. As fast as that's why when people keep asking me why haven't you developed your land <laughs> how do i take trucks into my land how do i when the road is not still certain because like now if we, there was a road i would have shown you guys where my land was but we had passed that place and i forgot to mention so basically let's just if you have a land here if the reason why you asked me to tour this place was to buy property here buy now because when they bring infrastructure it will go up the prices will go up if the reason why you are you asked me to tour here is so that you will see if there's a development yes people have built houses some have moved in use this opportunity now to start building your fence or start building your foundation mm -hmm. another thing again is if the reason you have asked me to come here is so that you know whether you can give out your house for rent give it out for rent because if you build a, a house and keep it for too long and nobody is living in it our local people traditionally our local people will say spirits will come and live in the house and things will become bad like before you come here that this lamp lamp holder is not working before you come you hear that ah this thing is not working so this is the sec the last estate we told we are going out of their back gates so you can see how big this place is big very very massive you know and this is the you know express now so i captured all these places to show you so i decided to show you you can see this is you can see how far the dome is from here so we are in another place coming out of this side to join the express back home so guys hope you enjoyed this tour if you did please subscribe share the video and for those of you who have been sharing these videos god bless you i saw it at my back end my back office i saw people sharing the number of people that are shared god bless you for always sharing my videos god bless you for always watching my videos i do not take it for granted because those of you who are watching sharing you know leaving good positive comments you are the real deal thank you so much you are the ones that make me each time people drop comment i say go to a particular place you see me go there continue dropping i'll ensure i tour everywhere by the grace of god that they, you have dropped on the comment section i'll try my very best to tour those places for you thank you so much please if you are not a nigerian watching this invest in nigeria nigeria is a fertile ground i tell you for free everything fresh and we are very accommodating nigeria is very accom they are accommodating yes so thank you so much guys as we are going to turn to get back home the turning point is so far there but what can we do we do it for the culture for my beautiful and wonderful subscribers and viewers god bless you see you